Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level four, the restricted section free play for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. As you can see on the right, we get all the collectibles except for one of the bricks, which we actually got in the story mode for completing the level. And we're going to shoot for that true wizard of 60k, which is pretty easy. And you may have noticed that there are a couple of required characters there, Grip Hook and a Dark Arts or Dark Magic character. Uh, we've got Snape. We showed you where to get him. With that being said, we're going to start off with the Leaky Cauldron, select Level 4, the Restricted Section, and gets to getting. Now, if you remember, this is the library area, so there is a trophy achievement you can get here by simply pausing the game, going to your options, and turning the music and the game volume all the way down, and uh, and then returning to the game to play, and you should ring off a trophy. Now, getting things started here on the gameplay side of things, we're going to go ahead and switch to Harry and put on your cloak so you can go invisible, and let's take care of these two flapping books real quick so they stop flapping around here. And uh, once they're both out of the way, we can go ahead and actually activate the cauldron in the back right side area here by simply using Wingardium Leviosa. And then we're going to switch to Hermione real quick and go ahead and hop on this little bookcase. Follow the pattern as indicated. Once you get that all completed, Booyaka Shao House Crest 1, which happens to be the red piece, appears. And then right in front of it on the right-hand side of the room, you're actually going to see a little silverish... Uh, I don't know what it is. It's like an artboard or something. Go ahead and destroy it and get the first character token. Now, on the right-hand side, in the back right, you might remember, there is a, uh, a little spot you can stand, and your character, other character, should lift you up with Wingardium Leviosa. Once you get up top, you're going to want to grab the item hiding in the bushes up front. You can see I also shot that back bookcase and knocked it over in the back, which we'll get to that in just a second. And we're going to go ahead and slam dunk that first item into the cauldron. And then we're going to go right back up and we're going to grab the old spideroo in the web here. So this happens to be the second item we need. Go back down and get the old dunk on. Oh no, they were ready for that. All right, back up top, there is actually right in that spider web. If you might have noticed, there's a little bit of a glimmer in the back indicating we can use dark magic. So go ahead and switch to your dark arts or dark magic character and go ahead and zap that out of the way. Destroy the brush in between you and that house crest and jump back and grab it. Oh, yeah, making some good ground right now. Hey, if you guys are new to Happy Thumbs, we do have the quick links down below in the video description. So if you're looking for, let's say you look just need the student in peril, maybe, go ahead and click the link down below, and it should take you right to the spot in the video of that point of interest. So same with house crests and character tokens as well. So go ahead and uh, speed through this. Use them how you need. You don't have to watch them all. I know some of you guys like watching the videos just to watch them. We really appreciate that. That means a lot to us means we're doing our job right and uh, others just like to hurry up and get through this so we uh, have provided both methods so that everybody is happy all right up top on the left hand side the same deal applies you're gonna go ahead and use your other character to help you get up there once you get up there go ahead and use Wingardium Leviosa to grab that torch and kind of it looks like a silver wall but I think it's supposed to be ice so melt it down go ahead and grab the old popsicle behind it slam dunk it into the cauldron for the third and final item which then opens the door for us and gives us access to the next area but before going through the door as you may have noticed we didn't go in there we're gonna grab a few studs but there's also another house crest that begins in here so there are a total of six flower pots around this area four are in this room and two are in the next room we're gonna go ahead and zap all four of them right now grabbing that blue in the corner too Maybe grab a few studs along your way, because if you're looking for that true wizard status, we do have a two-time stud multiplier on that's helping us get there, but they need quite a few studs, so make sure you grab them all. Now, uh, you saw the other two flower pots are right there on the way out, so grab all four of those and then head into the next room. It does trigger a small little cinematic scene, and it looks like Filch walking off into the other room. But yet, wait, no, that's Filch. I don't know who that other person was. We're following somebody. I forgot. My bad. You'll tell me in the comments below, and I appreciate that. But let's go ahead and switch to Harry and go into Cloak Vision. I mean, you don't have to. You can actually run right by. But, uh, you know, you don't want to trigger off the guy right here, uh, which is Filch. And you're going to go ahead and knock off both of those two flower pots right there at the stairs. And once you get those done, it'll actually ring off the final, well, no, that's not the final, the yellow house crest. Yeah, swoop it up, swoop it up. 
Now, just to the left of the stairwell and those flower pots, you're going to see a little safe here. We're going to switch to Grip Hook, use his nice little trusty key, and flip the switch to get Filch's character token out from inside. So he also rewards us with a handful of studs, and we're going to make it back to this first little corridor over here where you got to zap it with some magic. The books will stack up nice for you. Uh-oh, we're getting chased now. We got spotted. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so in this case, if you do get spotted, you do have to switch to your other character and zap his little kitty cat. And then uh, he hears the alt meow, and then he takes off and distracts him for a little bit longer. So as long as you don't get spotted again, you should be good. Make sure that you grab that green piece, uh, the pipe, tube, whatever it is, on the left-hand side of the alley there. And uh, go ahead and bring it over to the middle little alley here. And uh, we're going to stack that along with the other pieces to open the door. Now there is a ladder on the left-hand side that does allow you to get up and grab a floating blue stud. And in this case, there is also some items on the ground back here. You might notice they're glowing. I was having a hard time targeting them because I did move the ladder and it was kind of blocking it. So if you're, if you're, for whatever reason you can't target the stuff on the ground here, make sure you move the ladder away from you so that you can. As you can see, it was real easy for me to do once I moved it back. And then uh, some pieces actually fly out, and they actually are buildable. So go ahead and build those up until, like, a cuckoo clock. And we'll go ahead and spin the time fast, and cuckoo, cuckoo, spits out a bunch of studs and the student in peril. So there you go. Good job on the rescue there. Try not to get spotted. As you can see, I totally did. But uh, on that middle corridor, the bookcase alley, whatever you want to call it, there is a key that we should have uh, been sitting there waiting for us. Go ahead and grab that and use it on the door to give us access into not the final area, but the next area of the room here. We're going to run around and grab a few more studs because we were kind of getting concerned we weren't going to have enough. But there's a couple of blues floating around in here as well as a handful of golds. And uh, well, there's a kind of a little blooper moment for me here. Talk about wrong place, wrong time here. Watch this. Here in a second, I switch over to Hermione to pull out the old kitty cat. And look, I'm standing right in front of the tube, so let this be a lesson to you. You don't want to stand right in front of the tube because the cat can't get in, so no entry for you, kitty cat. So, yeah, I had to switch, and uh, well, I had to put the cat away, move Hermione out of the way, and then redeploy the old kitty. Now, uh, he does his job by going up top and dropping the last little piece of the door here. So you can see we use Wingardium Leviosa to... I guess finish the lock and spin to win to open it. But before advancing out, you might want to switch to Grip Hook again. There is another safe over here. This one isn't as rewarding as the last, but it does give you a handful of studs. And for us, it actually kicks us over the top of 60K and gives us that true wizard. So uh, we'll go ahead and advance into the final room if you're satisfied with what we've gotten so far. And over in the far right side of the room, there is another dark magic item you can use. So switch to your dark magic character, give it the old zapper rune, and pick up that last character token there. Now there is a couple of spider webs, three to be precise, in this last area as well. Go ahead and zap the spiders and uh, collect the final house crest, which, you know, that was available in the story mode, so at least I believe it was. So you, sh you may already have that one, but if you're like us and you waited till for, for, for free play, then uh, make sure you get all three of them. Then, uh, last but not least, switch to any character that has the ability for Luma Solum to go ahead and scare those tentacles away, and they will reveal a couple of batty, batty, batties. Go ahead and smack them both, and Booyaka The The mirror will present itself, and we'll roll out to the total. So, check it out. We got all three of the character tokens. We, uh, look at that, Neville in his pajamas. House party. No. Anyways, uh... We got all four of the house crests. We did get the amount needed for the true wizard, which was 60K. We'll go ahead and stack those up. So you can see our totals getting up there again. We haven't bought anything else recently, not since Professor Snape. And look at that. We saved the student in peril, as you would expect. And we'll go ahead and add up all three of those gold bricks. One, two, three. And that's it. So, oh, to the yeah. That's going to go ahead and wrap up. Lego Harry Potter, years one through four, level four, the restricted section, free play. We did get all of the collectibles available, and hopefully we'll put a smile on your face while doing so. Um, hey, we'd love to hear from you, whether you liked or didn't like it, whether you got a suggestion for us, whatever it may be. Hop on over to the social pages, Facebook, Twitter, comment down below, of course. We'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. We're not... Uh, 
we're not very uh, petty when it comes to asking for that. But hey, if you uh, like what we got going on here, we certainly got more content planned for the future, and we would love for you to see it as well. So click that subscribe button. I'm just saying. All right. Uh, we also have uh, a couple other social pages that are still not on the end screen here. We got Instagram, G Plus, and Twitch, as well as HappyThumbsGaming.com. So we'd love to see you on our website. We have our product and gaming reviews and trophy achievement guides there. And uh, yeah, that's it. As always, until next time. Batty, 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 boom, boom, boom. Tsui!